Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Dr. Clyde Letsom. Um, I'm working on a plugin uh, right now for a WordPress um, website that I am uh, working with. And I, for the plugin, I needed a way to um, create a database within, or not the database, but a table within my MySQL database. And I, of course, went on the internet searching for uh, different web pages that, or even YouTube videos that may be helpful. And it was very, very difficult for me to find any sort of information on it. Um, I found a, a video on YouTube that came from a very popular website, but it seemed like their data was a little bit out of date. It seemed like um, the people at WordPress had uh, updated their um, ways of actually creating a database or the tables since then. And so of course it didn't work for me. And so for that reason, uh, after I found a way to actually do this, I decided, okay, I'll make a YouTube video on this so that you know others don't have to uh, go through as much struggle as I did in order to find the um, a way to create a table via a uh, plugin. So um, what I have here pulled up is the ex an example or test of um, a way to create a table in your database, your MySQL database, uh, directly from the plugin. And so this is a code that I quickly wrote up and I figured I'd just put it on the screen and I'll talk about it and that way I wouldn't have to actually go through and type it up as, as, um, as the video is going on. So in here, you'll notice that I open my PHP um, uh, file here with the typical uh, less than sign uh, question mark PHP. And then, of course, at the top of the plugin, uh, we have this information up here. Now, WordPress uses this comment, these commented information up here in order to display uh, information to um, you inside of the WordPress back end. So in this case, I have to list here my plugin name, uh, the plugin URL, the description of the plugin, author's name, the link to the author, the version number, we'll just call this 1.0. And I've tested this on uh, WordPress 4.6 through WordPress 4.9. So I'm pretty sure this will work in, in all of these. It may work on 4.6 uh, or 4.5, maybe 4.4, I don't know. But this is what I've, I've been able to test it on. And I put these in here for you that way that you can use this in order to, um, like if you come about this video in the future, that you can say, okay, um, this worked for this version and maybe it may work for mine. And if it doesn't, then you'll know that you need to seek a uh, different way. All right. So after we finish with the comment areas up here, what we're going to do then is I'm going to create a global variable down here. And this global variable I'll call uh, my plugin DB version. And in here, I'll store my version of the database. And so that's what uh, is in here. Version is 1.0. And then I'll create my function. Okay, and uh, this function will call just a table creator. And inside a table creator, what I'll be doing is I'm going to create um, an error messages uh, table. Okay, so this is my function here. I open my function again. It's named table creator. Uh, in here, I'll have a global variable called WPDB. Now, WPDB is actually a class that's inside of WordPress already. And so what I'm doing is I'm making it global so that all the functions that are inside of the class are accessible to me. And so one thing that I can get from that class is the prefix of the uh, database. Um, so in uh, WordPress, what happens is whenever you uh, create a new database, um, what happens is there's a, a prefix that's associated with it. The typical or the more uh, usual one is WP and then the name of all your tables will be uh, listed that way. But for um, uh, since that is not uh, going to be fixed, uh, you just go ahead and use this uh, prefix here in order to get that. So here's what I'm talking about. If we go over here to my database, you'll notice that all my databases begin with ASB. So that's a prefix for this specific database. All right. So let's go back to um, the code here. So no matter what um, 
who uses your plugin if you put this in here it will get their prefix and it will put that in front of uh, your table name now what I also like to do is I also like to add uh, the name of my plugin in here or let's say an abbreviation of the plugin and that way let's say if I have a multi if I have an error table and let's say someone else creates a plugin with an error table those two error tables don't end up having the same name because mine has it, the unique identifier in front of it also uh, in this case we'll call it my plugin alright so now that we've done that and we've put that into a variable called uh, table name all right, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually create the, the query to create the uh, the actual table. So in this case, we have um, the we're going to put this in a variable here and the query is create table if not exist. So what this does is if the table doesn't already exist what it does is it then goes and creates the table based on the prefix that you had uh, the uh, identifier for your plugin in my case it's my plugin underscore and then it adds the actual name of the the uh, table that you want then you're gonna open the parentheses here and you're gonna put in your uh, items or, or in, inside of the inside the table so in this case I have a uh, column that's going to be named ID, one that's going to be named error code, and then one that's named error English. Okay, um, I'm going to give my ID a primary key in this case. All right, and you'll notice that the rest of these variables, uh, this one is an int of 11 uh, characters long, or uh, 11, uh, yeah, characters long, we'll call it characters. Uh, ID also has 11 characters and then our error uh, message here will be uh, text now these lines that are below here what these are for is uh, let's say you have an update in the future what this does is it um, when the update uh, when when someone gets your plugin and it's an update what it does is it uh, the new plugin is going to or the updated plugin is going to go and check to see if it needs to change the database based off of what's in there so you're gonna need this function here w uh, DB Delta so it's a uh, database change okay and you're gonna need to put in here the uh, the variable name of the query okay and you're also gonna need to uh, include this um, file in here called upgrade.php which is a part of your WordPress plugin all right so again this line in here is for the purpose of when you're updating it's going to check to see if there's any changes that needs to be made and then below that if I can see here then below that what we're gonna whoops pardon me let me backspace there all right below that what we have here then is we have uh, whenever we're doing our plugins we need to actually um, we're gonna need to a actually do the activation of the plugin but before we get there we're also gonna add this line in here and what this does is it keeps um, it creates a version and then it updates uh, the version if necessary and it keeps this information uh, to know which which version this is versus which num which version uh, is being installed or which version is being updated uh, when you dis when someone decides to do an update with your uh, plugin okay and then we're gonna close our function here and then once we close our function we're gonna include this function here register activation hook and what this does is when the uh, plugin is activated what it's going to do is it's going to immediately call this function here inside of the file in this case the file is the actual plugin itself and it will run that function and what that function will do is go ahead and create the table if it hasn't been created so that's what this does on activation it will call the file which is the plugin and it will create the table okay or it will not create a table it will call a function which in this case is to create a table all right so now that we've done that um, this is the actual file here and I've already saved this and what you're gonna need to do is uh, wherever you saved it go ahead and you're gonna need to create a zip file for it and once you've created that zip file 
then you can use that zip file and you can install into your uh, WordPress okay and so I'm gonna go over here to my WordPress uh, install and I'm gonna go down here to install I'm gonna say that I'm gonna add a new plugin okay and when I click on add a new plugin this comes up and you're gonna click on upload the plugin and you, you're gonna need to look for that plugin and so my plugin as soon as it comes up here all right it's right over here and so we're gonna go ahead and click that zip file that we were just talking about and once we've done that we're gonna click on install now once we click on install now then we go ahead and say that we want to activate the plugin you'll see that it's been installed successfully this is a plugin that I was just working on the test underscore table zip is the name of the of the uh, plugin and so you go ahead and hit activate and once you hit activate you'll notice then that the plugin that I created which was my plugin you'll see that it says here this is the test this was the information that was in the comments area at the very top okay and once you have that information um, once you can see that information in there so now we can go over to the to the database and remember we're creating a, a error message table so now that we've done that I'll go ahead and refresh my table here now and so or my database and what you'll notice is that it now created that ASB which was a prefix my plugin uh, error message table and if I click on that you'll see where it now created that database and you can see or not database but table and you can see the information that I had typed into the uh, into the plugin there alright so again this was again hopefully it's it's helpful to you guys this was uh, something I decided to do again because I couldn't find the information on how to create a table inside of a plugin that I was making so I decided to make the video if you found this to be helpful uh, go ahead and like the video you can also uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel here on um, YouTube and uh, I'll most likely be posting some future um, items that I found about uh, WordPress um, that I didn't actually find online so you, that's another good reason to uh, subscribe to my channel again this is Dr. Clyde Letsom and I thank you very much uh, for uh, taking time out to watch a video